Hi, and welcome to the show, and a very special show today. Uh, the Doc and Foxy little, look a, a little bit different to they usually look, but we're, we'll get to them in a mo. Uh, is that Mike? Yes, it is. Hello, Mike, you're on the air. Well, let's get this station moving. The station of the nation, White Radio, let's get moving. You have the stones, get it moving. Here in Toronto... The Stones drew up a million people on a, on a freebie. So what's the Isle of Wight doing now? Is the Isle of Wight being publicised? Well, let, let's go to one of our guests. He's Pat the Builder. Pat, this is Mike in Toronto. Well, he says he's in Toronto, but it's coming up on our switchboard, Glasgow. That's a pretty good line as well, isn't it? Hello, Patsy. How are you? You're the builder from Newport, aren't you? Shanklin. Shanklin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you go to the Falcon. <laughs> I do, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'm I'm calling from Glas from uh, you. To- you accused me of phoning from Glasgow. I'm phoning from Toronto, and Alex has my Gla- my Isle of Wight number, and he also has my Toronto number. And you go to the Falcon, and you you. I happen to, I happen to be black, uh, and I don't think you like coloured people. Is that right? You don't know me, mate. You you don't. You don't know me. You want to bet? You go to the Falcon on I'm... the corner of Regent Street. That's right. Just because I come from Toronto, you don't think I know what I'm talking about? Well, personally, no, I don't think you know what you're talking about. Well, it's about time you stop talking about people from Indian, India with, that had effigies coming out of their rooms within 24 hours. Remember that call? I do remember that call. Yeah, thank you very much. How do you disagree with that, Lisa? Totally. Hang on, I'm confused. You, you, you're saying you, you live in Toronto, you are in Toronto. We've, I am. Got, we've got you coming up as you're phoning from Glasgow, Scotland. I did that before. But yeah, I I'm... gave you my Toronto number before. Yeah, and you I phoned. You didn't even have the courtesy to call me back. I called you and it wouldn't go through. It came through disconnected. I called it several times. Well, you can do it again today. It's not disconnected. I'm live from Toronto. Right, OK. What is the time in Toronto now? It's seven, seven minutes. o'clock in the morning. Pardon? Seven o'clock in the morning. Well, hang on a minute. It's it, You've got to be five or six hours, maybe. Five hours difference. Right. It's the same that, as you are down in Florida when you're there. See, how often do you listen to Isle of Wight Radio, Mike? You seem to know a lot about me in Florida and Pat drinking on the corner of Regent Street. Still, right. in a pub, not on the corner of Regent yeah, Street. that's Mick. We'll get to him in a moment. <laughs> How, how, how often do you listen to our show? I listen to it quite often when I'm on the Isle of Wight. No, I can't hear nothing. Hang on, hang on, Mick. We'll get to you in a minute. We haven't brought you on yet. You need a, you know, Don't worry, Mick. We'll sort your headphones out in a moment. So how often are you on the Isle of Wight, then? Uh, I, I live on the Isle of Wight two or three times a year. So how do you know me, then? I listen to Isle of Wight radio, and also I've come across you and the Falcon, because you have prejudiced ideas. It's a small world, Pat. It is, isn't it? Eh? Anyway, my ideas are my ideas. I don't think you're telling the truth about who you are anyway, so you, I can't really give you any credibility, can I? You talk about other people like that before. What about your son that was on Ida White Radio? What about him? Yeah, you do, your 14-year-old son that did uh, work experience. Yeah, Pat yeah. son. Can... I don't know what I'm talking about. Come on, grow up, young man. I didn't say didn't know what you were talking about. I said I can't give you any credibility because you're not actually saying who you actually are. Do I need to? Well, yeah. If you're gonna, if you're gonna come across with all these accusations, you really need to come up front, unless you're a coward. I have. I've come up front. I know who I am. You know who I am. You've met me once before. But as far as I'm concerned, you're another Mister X. He's not got the balls to say who you are. You know very well who I am. My name's Mike. I don't have to hide behind. How come you? How come you spend? Three visits on the Isle of Wight, but you're actually in Canada. Because you, you're in your 60s, are you, Mike? Yes, I am. Right, so are you retired? Yes, I am. So whereabouts in Toronto are you calling from now? Exactly in Toronto? Yeah. On the corner of Bay Street and Charles West. Right, hang on a minute, Mick, sorry, we'll get to you. You're not on yet. Sorry. sorry. And you told me you work for a radio station over there. Uh, there is a radio station that I contribute to. And what, what as a caller or someone you work for? 
Uh, I won't go further into that. Right, and this is a... Uh, this is a is, and am I right in thinking this is a gay station in Toronto? There are many gay stations in in uh, Toronto, yes. Yeah, but what did you call it? Uh, G... Was it GN... What was it? That's up to you to find out. I, I well, why are you being awkward? The other I day... I don't you... need to discuss my private life. Why are you ringing up, then? I'm sorry? Why are you actually ringing up? You've not actually got to a point, have you? Yes. I want... I, I phoned up... Alex Dyke can tell you why I phoned up. You've come in the second time round. I was. I phoned Alex Dyke and Papa Doc to inquire because there was breaking news here in Toronto about the Stones being very, very big on the Isle of Wight this coming summer. And it's breaking news here because they... The stones are here every every summer. They come practice here. They did uh, uh, a, a huge uh, uh, concert at Downsview Park, uh, where they drew over a million people two times. years ago. Mick, hang on. We'll be with you in a minute. And your point is? My point is, I'm phoning up the Isle of Wight to publicise the Isle of Wight here in Toronto and the world wide. But how can you publicise the Isle of Wight and the Stones by being on the phone to us when you don't actually work at a radio station to broadcast the information on? Because I have contacts where people, where it can be broadcast. And I want to get through to White Radio, the station of the nation. Come on, make it larger. Bring it out to the world. You, you, the Isle of Wight... You try and publicise the Isle of Wight, but you only, you only live within the four walls of the Solent and the English Channel. Make it larger. All right, Mike. Thank you. Anything you want to say to Mike before we go? Well, I think it is large, isn't it? It's going out to a third of the world on Solent TV. We're on Solent TV at the moment through Sky. Uh, the festival is being sponsored by... Well, it's not actually being sponsored by, but it's being broadcast by Virgin Radio, which is a national radio station. There's nothing we need to do. The tickets have all been sold anyway, Mike. It doesn't make any difference. It's still the Isle of Wight. Not just the Stones, not just the Isle of Wight Radio. It's the Isle of Wight. Make it larger. Make it what it is. It's a wonderful place. All right, thank you very much. No, Mick, don't leave it. We're getting in a minute. Hi, who's this? Hello, me. Yep, John. Hello, John. Uh, yeah, I think that guy's a few sandwiches short of a picnic, actually. Absolutely. Uh, I don't think uh, he's... I've, I've been in the Falcon. I don't know um, the builder guy. My, my ex-girlfriend's dad drinks in there and stuff. And uh, I, I, I've never seen any problems in here. It's quite a hard pub sort of thing. But uh, I think the guy's just trying to cause an argument, to be honest. Absolutely. What I can't work about this guy is I, I can see now your number um, and where you're calling from. I can see it's someone from Wooten on uh, 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 after you. This guy's number was coming up and it says Glasgow. Yeah, now, he's probably in a mental hospital in Glasgow. <laughs> he may be. He may be. Thank you very much for your call. Hi, who's that? Alex, it's uh, George from uh, Wooten. Hello, George. That's Mr T. No, it's not Mr. That T. Is definitely Mr. T's voice. It does sound a little bit like Mr. T, I grant you. I reckon you'll find out in the end it is Mr. T. Well, he is calling um, from that number. If, Miss, if it was Mr. T, Mr. T would be calling in the phone. And that guy, Mike, is phoning us in the middle of the night. He's phoning us 15 times in the breakfast show. Uh, Mr. T wouldn't bother to do that. Mr. T had bothered to do all sorts of things. Um, but, but that is who he is, and um, he, he's just that, uh, up where you, you think he's in Glasgow. Well, he probably is in Glasgow. Well, and, Mr. Uh, T isn't in Glasgow. Mr. T calls from Portsmouth. Yeah, but that, that, well, he the is guy who just called... Glasgow, isn't he? The guy who just called is someone who's privy to some information, because I don't think a guy in his 60s will remember the things he said about me on previous shows, because yeah. when, when I said he some does, of those things, it was a long time ago. He listens to the phoning pack. Don't you worry about that. Do you remember what he was talking about then? What yeah, about the effigies? Now, what was that? Clear that up for us. Do you remember when these um, these cartoons about Allah come out? The Danish cartoons, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right? Within hours, out in the streets of Tehran and wherever, they're all burning effigies of Bush and Blair yeah, and, and burning uh, Union Jacks. And, yeah. Right? Now, within minutes, hours... What I said on the day was, I think these people, these ex extreme Muslims and whatever... have been arrested. Well, no, well, yeah, absolutely, without a doubt. But absolutely. what I think, I think at home they've actually got effigies of Bush and Blair sitting there...